Pense que tu as un canon de ficha y hablas de los pasos que se han visto en el mundo digital. ¿Sabes qué? Si alguien se atreve a opinar, la ficha de que tú no has ganado no es verdad. Es por lo que tú lo pagas con tu canon.
Are you gay? Nu skal ikke lide virkelig også. Nå, men det er normalt at være gay. Un fall, un patri, un... Kët pyti më fakte ka parashtru një shoqe jemi, unë nuk kom lidhe me kët pyti. Well, I'm not quite sure what they are talking about, which I don't understand Romania. But I think she's asking him, are you gay? And he's like, what if I am? What if I say to be gay? And then they are arguing about who's going to start the play. Well, actually, I'm going to start the play. With this mouth, just like Ellen Stewart used to do it. <laughs> Welcome to La Mama Theatre. Tonight, actually today, we are going to live stream. So <sighs> Duchin bura e grado pun sohen. Duchin bura grado pun sohen. Chutetino do 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 zoi, chutetino do do zoi, chutetino do 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 zoi, chutetino do do zoi. Sich luzon marijuana na Cipri. Luzon marijuana na Cipri. Sich luzon. Marijuana në Shqipri Zanë marijuana në Shqipri We are going to build the biggest condom factory in the region right here in a project run by Don Bosco, the Italian Humanitarian Association. One million euros is going to be invested along with a donation from the European Union. 200 people, men and women, will be employed and this town is going to get back on its feet. Condoms are going to produce with love out of old plastic bags, so that means using recycled material. We are going to produce top quality condoms that are elastic, soft, and erotic. You will see how this town is going to flourish. In five years, it will go from the poorest in Europe to have a GDP growth that you only can see in Pescara in Italy or Kaiserslautern in Germany. Come in! Merlin, Adriano, Mrs. Sigmeta, I'm delighted to meet you in person. Then I give her a lot of compliments. I've noticed they don't compliment women here. She enjoys it and she puts on some lipstick. I'm putting on lipstick. Oh, he is so sweet. Now I ask you kindly, oh, Mr. Adriano, how can I help you? It's an honor to serve you. I place the typewriter on a certificate is on the roller, but I insert it a little bit deeper so I can demonstrate to the client I'm ready to work in his nothings. I'm sitting in Igmeta's office. I sit and listen and just keep still. I've imagined this moment hundreds of times, but never exactly as it is happening now in reality. I look at the various folders, the vase of flowers, the typewriter, the certificate already in the room. We need get married, and <gasps> so we need a marriage certificate. She starts to laugh. <laughs> Mr. Adriano, a marriage requires a couple, a husband and a wife. Yes, of course. Oh, Italians. 
They have no shame. Then I start laughing and laughing. I didn't laugh like this in ages. I laugh too. What else can I do? I look out the window. What a shame we're on the first floor. Otherwise, I would have thrown myself out the window and done. <laughs> it meant it just sneers. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Adriano. I'm not ready to get nervous yet. I realize she misunderstood it, so I explain again, more slowly. I sit down, I get up, I sit down, I get up again. Listen, Ikmete, perhaps I wasn't clear enough. Maybe. My boyfriend, Merlin, and I have decided to get married, and so we need a marriage certificate. Anxiety makes me vomit. Luckily, I vomit in the vase of flowers on the protest desk. No, 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 no. Uh, wait, wait a second. Uh, what do you mean? What marriage? Man with man? Do you understand? I feel pain by those words. Where does this happen? Haven't you embarrassed us enough with that condom factory? Mm. Haven't you embarrassed us enough with that condom factory? Mm. Haven't mm. you embarrassed us enough with that condom factory? Mm. Hmm. Well, those were the questions that I wanted to ask him, but of course, I collect myself and I say nothing, because I have to appear civilized in front of foreigners. I just let it all out. understand what's so unusual about our request. We've been together for a good while. We love each other, and so we need a marriage certificate. It's that simple. I feel pain again. My head hit the desk, and one of them throws water on my face. I just hope it's just a bad dream. Marriage between two people in same gender is permitted in your constitution. <laughs> we love each other, and this is permitted by our constitution. <laughs> ah! She has a copy of constitution right here. She opens it and flicks through the different clauses. Clause 43, clause 49. I read, the constitution of our country permits a marriage between the same gender. Well, I won't allow it. I close the constitution. She closes the constitution, and then she opens it again. She rips out the page and puts it in her mouth. Without blinking, she starts to chew it. Shame on you. Shame on you. Such a handsome man. And all of these beautiful ladies in town, and you choose each other. Well, your documentations aren't ready yet. You need uh, 18 more uh, certificates that are... Essential? Of course! I am Hikmet's typewriter. I like it when Hikmet uses me. I love her soft fingers. I love the faint smell of her breath and the scent of the soap she washes with every morning. We typewriters can sense when someone loves us, when someone treats us tenderly and with respect. Using my keys, Hikmet has typed decisions, licenses, complaints, contracts, lawsuits, requests, and endless other documents. Hikmet works conscientiously and she treats everyone the same, lovingly. Last night I had a very strange dream. 
And if the river had broken its banks and was polluting the town, maybe this dream means that they are gay and not homosexual. Uh, Mr. Mayor? Yeah? I think it's the same thing, gay, mm. homosexual. No, 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 no. I think that gay people is when they just love each other, but they don't do those disgusting stuff, like having sex and who know what else. Like in that movie that we have seen together, the one called uh, Two Orphans Caught by Night in the Forest. Never mind. One thing I know for sure is that we have declared the Italian an honorary citizen. Our elections are far, so we have to be very careful. Mr. Mayor. Yes? Mr. Mayor, yes. our constitution allows the marriage between the same gender and we have no idea. Of course that we have no idea because we, as a nation, we don't read. <laughs> I'm sure that our prime minister just signed that constitution without reading Shh. it at all. For example, how many books have you read those last 30 years? <laughs> None. But I do read on the internet. But it's not the same yes, thing. Yes, it is. No. For example, I read on the internet that yesterday the German parliament voted a law which allows marriage between the same gender. Yesterday? Yes. They only did it yesterday. But we, we have this thing in our constitution for the last 10 years and still the European journalists portray us as primitive. As people who beat our woman. As people who keep our guns under the pillow. While we pee, we don't wash our hands. As people who do human trafficking. As people who control European drug trafficking. Angela Merkel opposed it. Shame on you. You want to destroy everything that our fathers built so many years. If you continue with this war, Germans will not have children anymore. And Turks will keep popping 12 to 15 of them. In a few years, Germany will have more Turks than Germans. This is what a le leader who loves her own country says. A visionary leader. Oh. Look at them. Oh. Mr. Mayor, <laughs> what should we do? Well, why don't you try to massage my lower muscles a bit? And then I will write the Prime Minister and I will request assistance. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Minister, <laughs> They do am tudi, do am e the nan and tande, do am e the nan and tande. The Duan Fabric has been in the middle of the color of the The Duan Fabric has been in the middle of the color 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 of the color
tani gejat kanë më shumë pushtet. Naturisht nuk kanë atë shumë pushtet sa besojnë të tjere të ka shumita urbana për ne. Për shemë më këtu se gejat e kontrolojnë industrinë e firmës në Hollywood. Po kjo është vetëm një mitë, ashtu si që është mitë a e që këtu, sa Amerike në kontrolon lobby Audi. Pra ndaj zyrtarë të shtetën në të vogle, a ti fin karin, zdo zyrtarit për realiste se që besojnë, se po forcojnë lirin e tyre ma Amerikën. Shumë më batë e gore në ministrë Izraeli. Cili dja batë e thith karin? A e në batë thith mundës o mërdej këtë interesant. Ku në Izrael? Milano. Një e gej klasë kishtarë të një një gjithë zyrtare, edhe përfunduan pas gej paratës. Edhe asë gjë, ma ti dikarin, qa nga kërësia sepse unë bje mirë, edhe në kom një pa, falim ideja. Many wars, many misfortune, many foreign occupations, but all our womb were healed simply relying on traditional sex. Our family values enabled us to keep our head high with pride and dignity. We always had sex lying down and never, never on our feet. Let me see, I, I don't understand this nowadays sex. What is that climbing into your room and jumping on your heart? <laughs> then I hear some numbers like 69. <laughs> By the way, people who signed the petition are Tony Perkins, yeah. Rush Limbo, Sarah Palin, <laughs> Mitch McConnell, Sean Hannity, Liberty University, Westboro Baptist Church, Alex Jones, Ann Carter. And Donald Trump. Trëste shtatë burra musliman të brarë. Burra katolik të brarë. Gjashtë shtatë gra muslimane të dhunuara. Tëtë mjeshta që në pesë të gjashtë musliman të rahu. Tëtë mjeshta që në pesë të gjashtë katolik të rahu. Katër qënë shtëpi muslimane të shkatruara. Katër qënë një shtëpi katolik të shkatruara. Sot, 
kemi vendosur të jashtë prinë dorë njëri tjetër dhe futëm i si vlendër. Sot më te për sa furë jemi bashkuar kundër të kretës të përbashkës që nga është kanonë. He! In this town, I feel as if surrounded by 500 bulls. It's in the Bible, and God says so. It's between a man and a woman. And the Supreme Court has no authority to even redefine it, even talk about it. It's not in their authority at all. Pope Francis has said married life is such a beautiful thing and we must protect it, protect the children. <laughs> So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أَتَأْتُونَ الْفَاحِشَةَ وَأَنْتُمْ تُبْصِرُونَ How can you engage in homosexuality and not only that, but in full view of everybody? Astaghfirullah. So that was another crime.
can only be used once, they come in different sizes and colors. You choose a size that suits you, that flicks your organ nice and snug. Before using it, you should test your stomach. Take it out of the package and blow to see if it has air. If it's not, you can put it on slowly. Now, uh, well, well, before you save it on, you have to ensure that your organ is primed in a proper state. Various experts recommend exercises, simple physical exercises to warm up the muscle. <laughs> okay, <laughs> once you're done, and once you've checked the condom, you're ready to go. Does anyone have any questions? Yes. There are no questions! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for taking part in this uh, workshop for three days uh, for safe sex and condom use, which uh, Don Bosco organized. This course was generously financed by the European <laughs> Union, and all of you will receive a certificate, which I'm sure that it will be of good use to you someday. <laughs> Wa 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 Pam param param pam param param pam param 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 pam 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 Muslim, 
Më shpejt sa që mund të amarë është momenti, du të asho është të një pas dalis të unë publike, se sa sa të tjerë du të abëjnë njëtë në gjë. that you like men and not women. Well, since I was a child, I always hung out with the girls and not the boys. And did you never try to grab a girl's tits or her butt? No, I felt safe with the girls. And did you ever try sex with a girl? No, did you ever try sex with a crocodile? <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, yes, there uh, uh, that's a mayor in Mexico called uh, Victor Aguilar uh, from San Pedro Juan Lula married the crocodile. Oh, uh, listen, Marlon, why don't you try sleeping uh, with a woman? I'm sure that you will like women. Women are, they are soft, you should try them. But I like men, not women. Uh, I understand. Apologies for my ignorance. Uh, Is this illness treated? Well, the one you have, homosexuality. I'm sure that medicine has advanced so much, and they already have discovered the pill for it. Look, if there's something that we as a municipality can do to help you do it, I have the right to make decisions for a project up to 10,000 euros without asking for any permission. So if there's something we can do to help you do it, just tell me. What do you mean by this? You don't have to answer me right now. You can think and then tell me, but I want to trust you something else. When you have those dreams, those symbolic dreams, do you dream them by men or by women? Because you wanted to embarrass us as 
as much as you could. Shame on you. Get out. Get out before I fuck you myself. Get out! When I was 20 years old, my parents uh, kept putting pressure on me to get married and start a family. It was always the same story quite every evening. As soon as supper was ready, was ready my mother would start, so uh, there, Marilyn, is there any news? Have you met any girls? And stuff, uh, other questions like this. So one night, while we were eating dinner, I decided to tell them the truth. I'm gay, I told them. I like boys, not girls. My father had a heart attack. And my mother burned her tongue on the hot bean soup we were eating. And for the next two weeks, she just muttered, how could you? How could you? How could you? How could you? And then after that, she never spoke again. Oh, 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 I saw two oh, women kissing oh, on the corner. 
Italian, the horns was direct for Don Bosco. Well, uh, we didn't permit it or refused it. We are just reviewing it as any other request. Uh, 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 you uh, bastards, you think you can shoot me? Uh, uh, you want to join the European Union, and you aren't even prepared to implement a club in your constitution. The constitution that you signed and drafted yourself. You little liars, and the five paupers. Do you think we're in your that? Good morning, man. Good morning, man. Shut the fuck up. have learned to be diplomatic when we communicate with the locals. Instead of criticizing them, I just tell them gently. Come here, come here. Oh, come here. oh it was just a routine question. You don't need to be anxious. I know you're working in, a, in that direction. I know you guys. <laughs> oh, I feel so relieved. I really wanted to kiss her. Actually, I kissed her. First, she was shocked, but then she liked it a lot. Too small, so I don't need two hands. <laughs> pom, 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 pom. And now, dear municipal officials. I'm going to reward those of you who were so convincing and play your parts so effectively in the presence of the EU commissioner. The two officials who were kissing each other get a double bonus. The two parrots in Lula's office that sang welcome, welcome commissioner will receive two additional rations plus a bigger cage. And Hikmete, who spontaneously kissed the commissioner on the lips, which was not in the plane, will receive the bonuses and additional work for four weekends a month. And for scrubbing in the corridor, I will receive four bonuses. The decision enters into force immediately. <laughs> Adriano, tipo e ndron, kurse në realitet ta dojt na shqyën, na coptoj. Një atë të luajt e italiani naiv. Ndoshtë është me mirë të japim fund se e lini. Ja të nëmë këtë dhe pas të pas 2 sekunda shpendohem shkëri për që hoj pajtohem për së rinjë. Pa piqullë, ha, ha, more, more maskara ime, more bukurosh, tica ime, eja, eja, flasim për qëka ti qefë të flasim. Mas shaj, mas shaj të zelisto. Flasim për robat e drasme. Mirë, 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 nuk isha ta që qëmë robat kishe, ku pitër të shëgruja unë burë, vi shëmi njejtë të dy si burë. Asë më në gjyra pingu. Asë më në gjyra pingu, qa na duhet pingu, vi shëmi njejtë. Burë, kretë burë. Kretë burë. Me përgjën shumë edhe mëse buzët, duhet të gjyre pak tja pa kontrasë. Bëm, bëm, që duhet të afojmat bendi nga gërgjinja, grekë të janisën të parët. Onë të desë për atë bendë. Qëpar tjetë dërshinon, ha? A është shumë i mirë me mua. Pajtomi dhe pas taj për fëndomin e shtarë duke për seks. Po zëtë se shkatu që. Për të kë vend është një ferë ndërsa për mua jo. 
Historia dhe urejtja njërë që këtunda i gea dhe është arktuse. Unë edhe po arktuama dhe po fitoj para. A nuk është e mrekullu është? Mërzi, piklim, njerëzit janë në angë, si kur para gjelatë. A mëj maqina ime, i thëmë, dhe pasterje dhe ato i shkrojnë për shkrojnë, shenjë për shenjë, sa shumë e dua maqina të ime të shkrimi. Êshtë e vetëmja që nuk më ka lënduar kur, e vetëmja që nuk më ka tratuar kur, e vetëmja që më ka falu dashurin. Dhe për dherësa i thëmë gjitha këto, në zyre hynë, a thëtë të dytë. Kemi sjellu gjitha dokumentet tjera. Certifikatën familjare, certifikatën e nërëstime të vurosën më gura postile. Letër të shpinë nga stacioni policorë që nuk jam në nëhetime, pagesën për 30 euro, të shpinë që martesa për bëhet në vullnetin tonë dhe pa presion, të dhikatën mjekësore, të shpinë e pagesës taksave, letër të shpinë që nuk jam i martuar në Itali. Mirë, mjafë. Hej, mjafë! Më duhet të dalë të konsultuar me kretarin. Dalë dhe konsultuar. Presim. Presim dhe pas taj presim. Ma e buzë, puthemi, puthemi gjatë, ajo hynë sërish, patrokitë. Në gjendë duke u putë, por unë ngenë të të derë me sytë të zgurdullullat. Por piqëm të bërtasë, por kreqë ka bojësh le shojnë një o të bojësë.
clear message. Or they will give up, otherwise they will end up like these all too pathetic people. Who to tell you the truth, we're innocent. Actually, no, they are still to blame. Because they gave birth to a gay. Maybe I'll throw a grenade to the White House again. Not person, she's not person. She had been at the... I enjoyed my job at Ambosco, but after a while, I also began to like Adriano, but he seemed straight, so... He seemed straight, so I didn't get much no, hope into it. No, no. But one night, when he was drunk, I kissed him, anyway. And then we started to go out together, and I was so happy. When he said he loved me, I was scared because I couldn't believe that anyone could truly, truly love me. And that day that he proposed me, I was overjoyed. I remember before saying yes to him, I left him, and I ran, 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 and then I collapsed in the road as if dead. And I started to weep. I order to cut every tree in our town. I order to buy hundred palm trees. I order to plant them here instead of the old ones. And don't forget to uh, print a large part in English saying, Welcome to Palma de Tashanik. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, I think our city is not ready for palms yet. I mean, <laughs> there's still snow mountain. Oh, Hikmeta, don't make me mad, please. Okay. I know what kind of climate we have. Just. I want to plant those palm trees just to distract people's attention. Let them accuse us of being crazy. Just, I don't want them to call us the town of the butt fuckers, you know? Uh, <laughs> cut those trees immediately. Come on! Ow! Oh, what a humiliating end for an old tree like me. Damn those palm trees that they are going to build in our town. May they wilt before next spring. I have so much to say, but my tears won't let me. Farewell. 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 Adriano, I'm going to be sure that you're going to be I'm 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 going to be Yes, here, woman marry man, and man marry woman. Minus goes with plus, and plus goes with minus. These are the only combinations. European experiments in our country on our youth will be dead like these red bombs. Name in Bodrum, a kisha parandia si vishka til muntun dolte. Nuk e diku jam pa lohen për toke. Po bënim sex pasaj dhe gjërë një. Bum! Mure, qam, po drumi bulot, ka pluri, pas taj mundohem t'a gjej telefonin, e ti t'them komandantës, alo, alo, zonja, komandantë, jemi në rezikun dhe merlin, një lutëm dërgani një helikopter që t'na shpëtoj. Well, I think they are dead. Farewell, you immoral people! The European Union is shocked by the grenade attack on two members of gay community in Tashanik. This attack is unacceptable and in contrary to European spirit and values. We will warn you that if just one hair on the head of these two has been harmed, you will be punished. The town's electricity supply will be cut off for two weeks. 
all the officials of the town will be put on the blacklist of the American president. We will withdraw all of your investments, and that means halting construction on the condom factory and the ice skating stadium. Not a single European circus will be allowed to visit your town. Your lives will be content. Hell! Mr. Mayor, should I, should I continue with Bond? No, 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 no. No, I told you to frighten them. You almost killed them. Look at those bones. Those are really in the middle of time. Oh. Green grenade launchers are the most underrated people, underestimated people in this country. Instead of doing my job right and to the best, they've given me a shitty task. A task of a secret agent. The mayor wants me to go to a region and prepare a report. He's saying that in this way we can understand much better this new species of people. Here me to the in an office of the sex in Iran, but at the Kautikian, here you to smoke that if God and an event element of eater. Shop Ura Odin Ura Ura Gra Migra Sunita Tarif Mukun Ma Nidia Pardu Podgorica. Nostrum Podgorica, the fighter has told from the Podgorica municipality office, uh, approved that dear men marry men and women marry women. All the ministers are even obliged to participate in those gay weddings. Look at what this administrative instruction written by the Prime Minister says. All the ministers are obliged to participate in those gay weddings in Montenegro. Those ministers who are on official trips or those ministers who are sick can bring a note with the stamps and authorized by a notary. Thank you. I now engage on the item of letter to be started at first. I will describe the atmosphere concerning. In the middle of the club, there is a horizontal pole around which a naked man is served. The others are clapping and giving him money uh, I'm alarmed, I want to be sick. I've seen in our cafe uh, women dancing like this in front of men, but I've never seen anything like this in all my life. If I can make a political comment, then I would say that this debauchery is a result of Greece's financial crisis. Look at what has happened to the rich Greece of Homer. Oh, over there, I even can see the Irish body of my kids. Oh my god. He's with a woman? Who knows? In this case, it could be a man, too. Like for you, Istanbul? Not about you all. I mean, a hammam in Istanbul. Because of the steam, everything here is very foggy, but for as much as I can see, everything here is off. They're all old men. They're all naked. They're all watching each other. They're stuck to each other, kissing each other. Oh my god, it's so hot, I'm afraid I'm gonna pass out. I wake up in the park. I don't know how I came here. My whole body hurts, especially my bottom. Oh lord, I hope those monsters didn't take any liberty.
Cocarbiți, poșcoi ne pre, frigu nu ca mai nar, se buză tu se niti apusar, e prapani să ni al movambal, ne hranti lum turme de poșcoi lirina zeut, ne iasie. Poșcoi me pre, frigu nu ca moi nan. Cocar mi spoșcoi me pre, frigu nu ca moi nan. It is four in the morning. Something huge is happening in the municipal building. They are holding a meeting that began about 10 hours ago, like the meetings of the Politburo once upon a time. Tonight, I would rather be anything but a typewriter. The prime minister is very tough. Listen to how he yells at them. Shame on you. Why couldn't you manage the situation? Prime Minister, hi, it's me, Kmita. Uh, oh. Please, don't, don't blame the mayor. It's not his, his fault. I mean, it's my fault. Punish me. Do anything you want to me. Stone me, Mr. Mayor. Stone me. Kill me. Uh, rape me if you want to. Do anything you want. Just don't blame him. It's not his fault. Uh, Kmita, please, go and massage his lower muscles. Please, come on, go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now it is six in the morning. The decision is made. It's difficult. Everyone cries, even the mayor. The prime minister proposed they sing the terrible song, the one the girls used to sing when they were raped by the men. Okay, that's a nice idea, prime minister. We are going to sing that song as a sign of our eternal faith. Oi nan ma chai melo temiera chik manu kia Me fütür buri, çiki şau bara grua, as kuş per grua az dot me doya, nöşt a pido plaka me vet muar, çay çay per mua te joren. your faggot. Do you take this person as your wife or you don't? Yes, I will take him. Good! Then one of you read the text of the oath and get lost. First you sign it, then get lost. Give it to Merlin. Read it, Merlin, line by line. I vow that I, I will remain faithful to this man for the first yes. month at least of the marriage. <laughs> I swear that what we are doing is a sin. I swear that we're getting married just to win some European donations. Where on earth did you get this text? Oh, what a brilliant text. Really? Oh. Thank you, Mrs. Ikmet. Oh, you do a fantastic job. Oh. I admire you. If the country had more right. people like you, it would become like Japan in 12 <laughs> months. Thank you, Mr. Adriano. Do you want to sign it? Of course, I'll sign it. Oh, sign, you know I won't sign, sign it at all. There is no need to rush. La vita bella. 
Let's enjoy it because Sign. marriage brings obligation. Patience. Sign in Adriano. Sign in Adriano. No. No. Okay. Sign in Adriano. No. 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 Sign in Adriano. Oh my god. What an awful dream I had. I must have slept with my head on a typewriter. What a rough night. Dashur chuteta aranesra nyofat ketsi etsilana shetsoi vendete regioni pokaloi no spida chirt venna kahu nyodrechima et wayapi ma certificat leti kuror zoi no se kio i bonta lungtu Heu mi kofusha Bikto male paskada Ni bailo zizi Pre Evrope ai bailoz Pohod burat Bo ne uči Bo ne uči Da shur qytetar me kët kuror zim Shënohet zyrtarisht procesi hyrje zvendi tone u Humbjen e këthyem në fitore Urime të gjithve Si qdo tështë e Angela Merkel Vater, vergib ihnen, denn sie wissen nicht, was sie tun. Heu, rankoin fushat, rankoin male tashani, kotraf murtaja, tyschnen skrove certifikaten, burniat hupi, et mloj marja. Shpalli tri dit zia Ntasha
soliloquy by Merlin, in which his whole life story is filled in. He explains how it's like to be gay in this land, how it felt when he first kissed a man. He describes how he and a guy first had sex and tells of his dreams, his fears, and his stress. He conveys how gays fall in love like all of us and suffer like teenage girls when they're tossed. He explains how once he was raped at night and gives other dramatic details of his life. This is a painful and disturbing soliloquy, which touches the heart and wounds the spirit. It will make you all ponder the tragic fate of Merlin. Please, please, and permanent Russia before you use in conduct. All these beautiful please, girls that you have in Shabbat. There is no reason to that, because we have a prince of the Stewart used to say, well, this was our little show. Thank you.
so <clears throat> Well, normally we would start, but since it's live stream, we need uh, the mic. Um, it, it, can you hear me? Yeah. With the mic or no? Yeah. Uh, one, two. Or one, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, uh, first of all, um, thank you for uh, coming to see uh, the show here at La Mama on a cold and rainy day on a Sunday in New York. And uh, thanks to La Mama Theater and uh, Mia for putting on a show once again that uh, shows us how big the world is and how complex the world is, how complicated and also how beautiful. And uh, to see a play like this from Kosovo is uh, quite extraordinary, so thank you um, for, uh, for putting this up. Great congratulation, I think, to the, um, uh, the Gendria Multimedia Theater from Kosovo and the director, so, uh, for, to, and to the acting, so please a big applause for their work. <laughs> And I have um, um, Blerta Nezrai here with me, and so uh, she uh, put this uh, all together, and uh, I think it's uh, quite an extraordinary uh, uh, work um, that, of course, uh, uh, reflects history in all the countries of the world, or any, wherever they are at the moment. Uh, we at the Siegel Theater just uh, hosted a, a place from uh, South Korea, but the very, very first time out of eight, 30 Asian countries, uh, a government put a little logo behind uh, uh, readings uh, that uh, dealt with LGBT uh, questions. So something is happening in the world and, um, and the way, how do we share the, this uh, experience? How do we share knowledge? How do we share um, and how do we give meaning to the, the times we live in? And I think theater is one of the fantastic ways to truly um, 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 create uh, understanding or where understanding can take place. But um, let's go right away um, to the work. Tell us, uh, how did this all uh, come about? Uh, well, we... Yeah. Thank you. Uh, well, we as a company, it's been like uh, 10 years now that um, we are producing uh, plays that, uh, that are, uh, that is a theater coming out of necessity. So every, every year uh, we have one uh, or two production that w we do, and it needs to come out of uh, our context in, 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 the, in the region, the problems that we are facing uh, every day. Like you were mentioning, you were saying that it's uh, part of your history, but uh, it's for us, it's nowadays history. So uh, having to put on stage uh, this play and dealing with the question of LGBT in Kosovo, it's, uh, it's not a simple topic, I would say, um, uh, because it's, it's completely a different world from, uh, uh, from here. Like, uh, while we start the show, we say it's, it's normal to be gay in America, but in Kosovo, it's not normal to be gay. Like, um, all, I would say that we have to, to be the other mouth to, on, in order to talk about them, because we are not experts in the LGBT uh, question, but um, we uh, we needed to talk about them, and the the good thing is that we we got support from them, and uh, we we are happy to have done this performance. Uh, I have to mention that one month after we did this show, uh, we had the first gay parade in Kosovo. So um, it's like a year and a half, yeah, a year and a half ago we had the first gay par parade. So you can imagine uh, in what kind of uh, context we, we are in, uh, in Kosovo. So this is one of the first plays that deals with the theme and put on stage uh, um, the theme. Is that yes, the theme? in uh, yeah, in, in this uh, in this level, yeah, I would say where we are talking directly and uh, where we are pushing boundaries a little bit uh, further. Um, we are actually trying to talk in this show more about the uh, policies that are made around this uh, the the community and. Um, Maybe we uh, we are using uh, uh, hard uh, 
hard words and uh, and not being politically correct. But uh, we we thought that we should go really uh, far away with. Uh, uh, in a way, extreme, to be extreme in the sense that uh, uh, how, how people and how our government uh, treats the uh, LGBT uh, community. There are no gay bars there. Um, there are, uh, I mean, nobody uh, goes out in a way to, to talk about uh, the uh, issue. Um, and now they are starting a little bit. I'm not saying it's because of the performance, obviously not. It's uh, they need to, to gain their, uh, their rights. Uh, but um, it's, it's quite important to, uh, for our organization and uh, for all our group uh, to talk about uh, the, the issue and maybe try to start a conversation on the, on the question. So tell us about opening night and the first performance. What happened? What were, what were the reactions? Uh, so obviously in the, in the opening nights, we usually have our friends, people who support us. Uh, but uh, we had to, uh, to call the police because we got uh, uh, threats beforehand. Because having a picture of uh, the two main actors uh, kissing each other and um, so we needed to make sure everything is, um, is going well. So it went well, actually. Very good uh, reaction from the LGBT uh, community. Um, sometimes we didn't get the best reaction from the other communities, but we were happy to, uh, to have their uh, support. Uh, then we, we toured with this performance because uh, you... Maybe Pristina is a little bit more open-minded, the capital city, uh, but the other parts of, of Kosovo, it's not the case. But they just uh, just accepted it, and we are we are very happy for for that. We recently, in the last show we had in Pristina, we got uh, what we considered a uh, uh, little bit more uh, of a serious uh, threats by an official of Ministry of uh, uh, Justice. And, uh, What's that, a serious, more serious? Uh, well, by threatening us that uh, uh, for cutting our heads and uh, putting out with, uh, with a sword yeah, and putting that in our uh, bottom, if I may say. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, my. So, um, well, the story uh, continues uh, by uh, us uh, uh, informing the uh, uh, police and uh, everything uh, ended uh, happily by uh, having this person finally, like for 48 hours, uh, stopped uh, by the police. And we could, uh, we were, uh, we got a lot of support from uh, from the the whole community, artistic community, coming to uh, to see uh, the show at a theater in uh, in, in Pristina. Well, um, that's uh, really, truly a courageous work I think you're doing. It's uh, easy, perhaps a bit easier for us. I think La Mama will host a festival 50 years ago was Stonewall. It was also complex times, violent times, a big struggle. So, and it's also not so long ago as, um, as one uh, thinks. Um, before we come to the actors, and again, thank you for, for coming and joining. Congratulations on your work um, here in New York and uh, bringing your show. Uh, on the theatrical uh, work, um, it's, I think, also beautifully done. Often uh, message plays or plays with an uh, agenda, you know, or just people think it's enough to do the words and everybody knows anything. But I hear we saw beautiful lighting. We saw uh, characters taking over the different roles, opposite roles. There was a kind of a Greek-like chorus, um, songs, uh, kind of references to folk song, church songs, and... Uh, and then also the stage design with the triangle and all of it. I thought it is uh, quite, a, quite a sophisticated also a, a, a production. So tell us about rehearsal and what, what's, what was your concept? What did you change? What did you find when you, when you rehearsed? What was your surprises? Yeah, so it's a, it's a quite difficult play because it has got 55 scenes in total and uh, actually doesn't have a classical dramaturgical yeah. structure. So uh, having five actors and then having a musician on stage and having characters as a typewriter or tree, uh, we could easily go into a children's theater. So we had to um, 
to think with the group because all this is uh, working in progress. Like we meet and we discuss together, and then we come to uh, to the show. So it's uh, it, it took a while to to think of the nature of the show we will uh, we will do, and then together with the stage designer and who is the costume designer as well, we, we decided actually to have a space. Uh, where um, it can be everywhere, like it can be in a gay club, and we will use everything that is in there, and all the characters should be in the room in order to to be playful and not taking it seriously what uh, what they are doing, just uh, telling the text, pushing the emotion uh, forward, doing having to do a grotesque, a burlesque. So uh, I think all this uh, this lightning, which is not dimmable, and I'm sorry if somebody sometimes in some spaces can have a problem with like uh, the eyes might hurt, well, but. <laughs> Well, the actors, I will have a talk show. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes they tell me that it's, uh, it's very hard to, to stay there. <laughs> yeah, they are polite sometimes. <laughs> um, so um, it's, it's things that you can find everywhere, in, in every space to, to get them. Um, it's, we are not a big company. We're so you're an ensemble that works yes. together all year, and you uh, work two, three months, or five We week? work How? two months. Two uh, months. In total, yes. Um, and we, uh, we tend, as an organization, to, to invite um, like stage designers, choreographers, composers from out of Kosovo. Uh, because uh, when, when we are working with our group, of actors, we tend to, to have, obviously, our internal jokes. And in order to un universalize the, the concept and the, the work that we are doing, uh, knowing that we tour with our shows, we need to have close to us people who are not uh, Kosovo Albanian. And that helps a lot in creating such uh, environments. Yeah, no, I think it is quite remarkable. Also, just I want to remind the audience, Kosovo, and the Balkans, uh, what happened uh, in the history uh, not so long ago, uh, how uh, devastating the civil wars, the wars were between the countries, and um, that this is now, that struggle somehow is over. We hope that tensions are done, but this is, um, it is an ongoing uh, struggle, and for the company also to focus on this, because all that in the background, which you could feel the seriousness of it, and uh, that lives, in a way, are at risk again, and, um, and that the European Union ex not as the big Brexit uh, fears of the Britain say, actually, we feel as progressive justice, something good is coming in. So um, I think it is, uh, gives us also a glimpse of, um, of, of a feeling of, of, of change and, uh, and that theater is part of it. It's somehow mirroring it that at yeah. the same time the a parade uh, will happen or happened, you had put on the play, but you also show that and represent a manifest with bodies on stage. Yeah. Um, um, and, and reinforce, I think, uh, what we of course think is the right, the right way and uh, progressive justice and, uh, and um, that should have of course happened a long time ago and it's an ongoing struggle. But, you, but in any country in the world you will find uh, um, the towns where threats would be, would be put up. So it's a, a fantastic uh, 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 creative work that shows really the complexity of life and we only know a little, little, little bit of what it really means for you to create this, to put this on stage, to have gone through, I don't know what your childhood memories really are, maybe you talk a bit about the way you have behind you to say, now we fight uh, for this. I think it's uh, incredibly courageous, creative. Yeah, so, um, but let's go, yeah, let's go to the actors and uh, let's ask them, you know, just how, first of all, how does it feel to perform it uh, in New York uh, on the stage at La Mama? Great, I mean, this play, like, when, you, when you're a, an actor and you like a play, like everywhere is the same play, but it's like the energy changes and now here we can notice that people like certain things more and certain things less. But what are the differences? You know, I, I mean, not really that much. We just, I think that people here, uh, they, they really, they are really uh, appreciating stuff more because like uh, we tend to be like more, 
because we know each other and it's like sometimes it feels like people know what you're gonna do and, uh, and here is like people are oh my god it, because it it is a hard play to do it's like two almost two hours you're on your feet dancing and singing and doing everything so I, I feel really great and it's not that it is a difference playing in New York or somewhere it's just uh, it feels better. Uh, that we, why did you give me that? <laughs> <laughs> why, why? So I'm, I'm, I'm Tristan. I, I survived during the war. <laughs> no, no I, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm even not from Kosovo. I'm from Albania, but it's, it's okay. It's cool. <laughs> you survived communism. Yeah, I survived communism. It was a very hard communism when I was very young. No, and uh, we, we did this play like in many other... Uh, other countries and uh, the differences are like sometimes like uh, like Alketa said uh, the d different moments they, they they react like in different moments like in, when we played in in most in the region they can react more in some local uh, jokes that we have that because they understand it more and stuff like that but now when we played like we played it in in Czechos Czechoslovakia or Czech, Czech Republic, Czech, Czech Republic. <laughs> so, and uh, and uh, it was like kind of the, the same vibe that we had here, and it's and it's nice. It's nice. It's nice to play it here in La Mama in New York. And New York is a very nice city. Cool. So tell us a bit about your your actors training. Where do you come from? And uh, both of you, how 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 does theater work? What do you do? How do you get into theater in um, Kosovo? Um, in Pristina, we have no agents. Like actors. <laughs> Straight to the like, point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just go to auditions, and uh, a lot of actors, they just don't go to auditions anymore because they feel like everybody knows everybody, so everything is corrupted, and yeah, if directors will take actors. No, yeah. no but it's changing like lately. Like if he example, needs me, he'll call me if he yeah. needs me. <laughs> but in uh, Chandra Multimedia, what I like is that, for example, National Theater works with texts like Shakespeare and, you know, stuff like uh, cla very classical stuff. And I think that uh, we should be more honest with art. And uh, I think that Chandra Multimedia, uh, Multimedia does this place that they are talking about our social life more and they are somehow reflecting our uh, everyday struggles, like with different themes and different plays. And it feels really nice to work, you know, uh, to know that you're doing something that it's uh, like it's ongoing. You're living that reality and you're somehow mirroring it and also trying to tell people that, you know, we are aware and we're conscious about everything, like all these social problems like EU coming in our place and uh, treating us like little children, you know, and everything. You know, and it's, it's really fun and also it was... Uh, a great process. We we learned a lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Look what I can do. <laughs> uh, me, yeah. I uh, I I started with um, uh, films with an American director called Joshua Marston. Maybe you know him, the one that did Maria Full of Grace, the movie, and uh, Complete Unknown. Now we did this movie, The Forgiveness of Blood. He, he did he did it in Skoda in my hometown uh, in 2000. 10, 11, something like that. Then I started to, uh, uh, I went, uh, I, I met uh, this actor in, during the movie because uh, when we did the movie, I was like in the last year of high school. So uh, then uh, uh, the one who played my father, he was an uh, uh, acting teacher from uh, Macedonia, an Albanian from Macedonia. So uh, he asked me, so I went to his school. I studied in Tetovo in Macedonia like four years. Then after that, I moved to, I moved to Pristina because uh, in the Albanian, I, uh, my opinion is that in, in the Albanian uh, uh, talking, Albanian talking countries in the Balkans, that is like Albania, Kosovo, and like half Macedonia and stuff like that. We You're tired, the right? Same language, we, Albania <laughs> and Kosovo. Uh, there are a lot of differences. Uh, Pristina is the is kind of the best city for for an actor to to work in in the in the theater scene and uh, movies too. Again, a question also for the actors. Um, do, do you participate uh, Did you participate in creating the text? Yeah. And how personal does it feel? I mean, you represent current history, but also, of course, history before. But um, how does it connect your, to your lives and to your uh, own experiences? 
I, I really like the fact that uh, this play is not like talking about uh, LGBT community in, in the, because like uh, for marginalized groups, they always have the tendencies to make them look like victims. And I think that uh, how they live, it's more complex. Like, and that, like with this play, uh, we were always time pushing the idea of talking about a lot, uh, like more of uh, like in a larger sense, like to see things more outside of the box, not just, okay, uh, LGBT community are victims and they live, like it is hard. I, I was raised with gay men all my life. Like, and it is really, really hard and it sucks, but like inside, like they are of course, like I feel part of the community. Uh, I'm always trying to, to uh, fight this, uh, these stereotypes and always with art, I think we should put these boundaries and talk about how, how it's hard to live also like in every community because uh, it's getting uh, worse every day. And it was really nice to work with, with a, 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 to work in a process where everyone, everybody was kind of conscious about this, and we were trying to escape these stereotypes and fight them more as more as we could. Mm -hmm. And uh, about the creative part, we, uh, we as uh, Berta said, we worked like two months in, in multimedia for this play, and in the beginning we didn't have like a, a very a complete text from Yeton, but he came, and uh, we like. Fragments? Yeah, he, we had like, yeah, we, we had like, yeah, yeah. some... The, the, out of the 55. Yeah. Kind of. I don't remember it uh, like yeah. well, but it was like that. And then uh, uh, Yeton talked with us and we shared like opinions and stuff yeah. about how uh, can, can we uh, create those, those characters and what to do. Yeah. And it was nice. It was fun. And some of the characters didn't made it. I feel yeah. so sad about what you... <laughs> <laughs> So, um, what was the most complicated to do for you, and what, what, what did you find? What surprised you w during the rehearsal? What, what did you find? What surprised us? Um, what did you find? Well, you say this is, um, uh, we didn't know that when we started in Germany. <sighs> well, like, um, the moment of, um, looking at the man doing the uh, striptease. For me, that was really, really beautiful. Like, it was a, a moment of surprise when um, uh, one of the people in our group did the striptease for us. And um, yeah, showing us all these, uh, these moves. And it was very touching to see how at one point the whole crew, the whole group was really into the issue. They were really going for the, the question and they were willing to give everything from their own experience in order that we come to, to this show. Because uh, usually we, uh, we, we have the group coming in the room, everybody is doing only their work and we just go away, obviously. Uh, but seeing everyone engaged uh, so much, that is, uh, that is something magic and surprising at the same time in the positive uh, sense, I would say. So yeah, I started from there to come to, to this work. Uh, for me too, kind of the, the, the musicality of the play, it was something that, uh, like Alketa said before, in, in, uh, if you're used to work in the, national or other theaters other than uh, multimedia, you, you're gonna get like uh, more probabilities to make kind of a, a traditional kind of uh, play theater. And in multimedia it's, it's very nice because you, you, have to, you always have uh, professionals from other countries and it, it, it gives you a lot of nice and even uh, sh shares with you very cultural, uh, uh, cultural what? Cultural, uh, cultural experiences. experiences and stuff like that. Before we come uh, to audience uh, uh, questions, and we will we'll come to it also, we have some time for it. Um, I know uh, Jayton also, he did the one flew over Kosovo, the Eiffel Tower project, whatever. But what's up next? What is the company planning? What is the next project? So um, the, the next project we're planning to start in mid-August, it's about the workers' right. 
Um, so we still don't have any line of the story. And uh, I will have to wait uh, until uh, June normally to get like five pages maybe of the story mm -hmm. and then to do the cast and uh, all the, the other, uh, what comes with the shows. That's Perfect. the next thing we were doing. But meanwhile, we, we uh, as a company, we have a, a literature festival going on, and uh, we are touring with the show more, and we have other shows which, uh, with which we go in, uh, in Europe, and yeah. So um, we have a great audience uh, here at La Mama. I still saw some familiar faces. So <clears throat> let's go up here. Do we have a microphone for the audience? Or should we do this? Yes, yeah, so you're going to bring it up. So maybe, Shorty, say your name, uh, what, what you do if you want, and uh, a short statement or a question or an observation. And um, here we go. Who has uh, here in the middle? What? My name is Siobhan Peterson. I'm an actor and nanny based here in New York. Um, I was just wondering, in, in Kosovo and in, in East, Eastern Europe in general, is, are the police the people that the queer people trust to go to when they um, feel danger? Because like, like to hear you say, oh yeah, you know, we would go to the police, I'm like, that sounds completely foreign to me as a queer person as a, and as a black person as a, in America. I'm like, I would never go to the police. Like, that just looks like trouble to me. Yeah, it's kind of the same there too, I think. Yeah. It was it's for the opening night, I think, it was the uh, opening night no, of the actually, no, we don't. Uh, yeah, in our company, uh, I mean, in the group, there are no, uh, no people from the LGBT community. So for us, it was easy to go to the police and uh, uh, ask for help in this case. But for the, uh, for the LGBT community, it can, be, uh, it can be tough to go and uh, ask for, uh, for help. Unless you're, uh, I don't know, uh, somebody who everyone knows and uh, they, uh, because of uh, uh, European presence, uh, US presence in the country, uh, the government needs to, uh, to take care of all this. We're talking about theater, like it's a national theater inviting the police, and it's it's like it goes through this protocol. And but if you are like women, also get uh, beaten by like domestic violence, it's like going on, and also the uh, community, like society, is very violent through uh, with LGBT community, and and uh, police are too. So yes, it's the same. Like police is very very. Uh, not the place that you go when you get beaten by. Mm -hmm. And I know what you mean because I, it's yeah. sad. <laughs> Just as a question, why weren't members of LGBT community part of the production? Um, why they weren't? Uh, because we, uh, we weren't seeking for uh, experts on the, on the uh, question. We were seeking for uh, collaborators that we would like to, to do the, the show. That's all professional people. Uh, I'm not saying that there are no professional people from the LGBT community, uh, but in this case, we have our um, uh, group with whom we're working, so we wanted to work with, uh, with them. And we thought that it's not necessary to have uh, somebody from the, com the LGBT community, just in order to say that, yeah, now we have somebody close to us, so you cannot judge us. It's, it's not necessary. It wasn't necessary, and it, we don't feel like it's, it's necessary to, to have someone. Yeah, and I, I think that sexuality with uh, being part of a community is a totally different thing, because I feel like I am part of the community, and I think that my sexual or orientation, it doesn't decide if I'm part of the community because love is love at the end of the day and like I cannot I can not say for myself that I'm straight and I will be all my life you know like it's stupid <laughs> I, I guess in New York uh, in this production would be members would be included I think in the creative process but also, also on stage on because it's also about the theme so you want just as a, as a thought and um, uh, in, in general, as you might talk to workers, you know, when you do about workers' rights. But um, it was, uh, we came to a great, uh, 
the great. Just so yeah. I yeah. add, we, we obviously, before doing the, the show, we do research. Yeah. We, we have this all this phase of research. Mm -hmm. So we're not just entering like, uh, I don't know, one would enter in a forest or, or else. But I cannot say like, because I don't want to be judged in that direction that I'm an expert in the issue and I didn't feel like I should have uh, from the community, but I have a lot of friends who are, uh, who are part of the community and it's, it's completely fine. Of course, and um, it, it, this is a great production. Some other comments, or oh, yeah, here? Hi, congratulations, by the way. <laughs> and so um, I think a lot of uh, people in the audience found a parallel to this story with what happened in America a few years ago in Kentucky, where gay marriage was uh, legalized in all 50 states, but then there was a uh, county clerk who just outright refused to marry a couple that came for a marriage license. and. Uh, so I want to know, is this based on a true story or partially based on a true story? It's, it's actually partly based on a true story because it was, um, we, we heard that there's, there was a request in one of the towns in Kosovo. But the thing is that uh, we aren't sure of that. We, we aren't sure like 100% that it really happened. But we heard on the newspaper that it, there was a request. Uh, but then the, the other facts around the, um, this story, then most of them are, uh, are based on, a, on true stories, actually. Like, for example, the law thing, like the Constitution uh, allows it, and the, a family law forbids it. Like it's it's like it we have like the <laughs> issues that like you cannot get married in fact and like by the constitution it's like it's a totally messed up story and and like it's very frustrating to if you go through this all of these issues with with the law because we are still like a n country in the making you know we're still after the war and it's yeah. It's been 11 years we have declared our independence, so it's a new, quite a new country. I mean, you won't find the books of 3,000 pages outside, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a story like that, that it takes so many pages to, uh, to explain. But yeah, there are so many stories, true stories in the show. One or two more. So just for those of us who don't know, is uh, Kosovo predominantly uh, Christian or predominantly Muslim or half and half or? Muslim. 96% of the popula population is Muslim. 96? Yes. Oh. Yeah. So that's where like the, fam is that where the family law that you spoke of may come into place? Because. Well, it's not a religion issue, I think. It was, a, uh, the family law was before because like the, uh, the Islam, uh, I think that it, after the war, people started to go more in mosques and to take it more serious. It was this transition, it was really weird. Um, uh, actually, uh, we, a transition happened in our countries um, these uh, late years, like uh, 50 years. Um, like uh, what Alkita is trying to say is that this uh, family uh, family law doesn't allow it. It's that um, uh, Kosovo, uh, after uh, uh, after um, I just cannot find the, the right uh, the right the word. not the timing, but um, the words to uh, yeah. Uh, no, it's just that the, the, the issue of the traditional Islam, what we would call in our country, and then uh, after, after the country, uh, the war was finished, uh, many organizations uh, came, uh, came to Kosovo, and uh, um, many people started uh, to get uh, more into not the tr 
the, not the traditional Islam anymore. So it has it has changed with the uh, with the years. So maybe you wanted to say that because the family the yeah. extreme. If we yeah, if we may call even uh, even though yeah, like uh, now you you can see. Uh, more people actually practicing the religion, while before yeah. it wasn't uh, uh, before the it case. Was more like a tradition thing. Yes. Like we would do Ramadan and Bayram and all these things, but it was more of a tradition thing, and now it's not. Like people have started to get religion more serious, and it's really sad. I understand that actually you have there are oh there are problems right now between the old fashion uh, Islam, the way it was lived in Kosovo, and who are really threatened by the new Islam coming in. And there are a lot of fight. Yeah. In s right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Any other? Another? Can we uh, up there, Polly? Mm -hmm. um, as a veteran of the um, gay movement, in the New York and in the States, I know that there's always conflict about amongst our ranks about you know what issue is important, which issues to uh, you know generations change what they what they focus on different groups. Of people. And I'm just wondering, you know, here in your production, gay marriage was sort of like a, a central um, element of the uh, of the drama of the action. And then we also saw these, like, oh, you know, this in, in, untenable violence committed against people and institutions. And and um, I wonder if there's if there's struggle uh, in, within the uh, forming of strategy. Do we protect ourselves and our health, and pr try to keep housing and jobs before we advocate for marriage, or is it just this one great sweep of freedom from and freedom to issues. You understand what I'm saying? How, how, how is it, this might be, be beyond, but how is it that you selected the issues? Of marriage? The issue of marriage and the, First. And the issues yeah, of, uh -huh. yes. How is this the central? Uh, because, yeah. We, yeah. Yeah. yeah, because we actually started the, the idea of doing the show, it, was actually like the coming out. And uh, we got this story of two people willing to, uh, to get married, and it was no way they could. So that's where we started to develop the, the whole story. And so, yeah, it is central, actually. And in our show, we make it possible. But it's, I'm, I'm not very confident that it can happen I don't know in how many years yeah. from now. Like, I don't know if I'm responding to your yeah, uh, I think person. Yeah. You, you, you think that maybe. Yeah. yeah. You think that now I'm going now. Yeah. You think that maybe this looks a bit uh, exotic for, for, for the problems that actually you. Yeah, really. That, that you saw during the play, like uh, from Kosovo, a lot of violence and stuff, <laughs> and you're doing a play about gay, gay rights, right? But it's a, it's a problem, this too. And this is not the only play that multimedia is doing or we are playing. So it, this is one of the subjects that we treated for this play, I think. And it's, it's, it's cool. Maybe one last uh, comment or question, something on your minds. Yeah, all the way over there. Uh, first of all, thanks. Uh, you guys did a great job. The last time I was in a theater was actually in the National Theater in Pristina when I was watching a, a, a play there. So, um, uh, not, not very much, thanks. Uh, I just wanted to say, you know, it's, it's refreshing to see something like this come from Kosovo. Uh, there are a lot of problems, societal, um, governmental, and, and, and just in the way that your country is becoming a, a country in, in the world. And uh, I just wanted to say congratulations. And, and I'm, I'm really happy to see something like this come out. I, I hope to see more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Wonderful. I think this is a, a great comment and really would also underline a congratulation to all of you for picking this, uh, putting it on stage, uh, creating 55 scenes around and you know, then taking it on the road and being there with your buddies on stage is a significant uh, um, theme and, uh, um, and it's also beautifully done and created. So um, well done. Congratulations. I would say another applause for um, the actor and the director and um, well done. Thank you. So thank you for coming, and I think La Mama will put on a festival 50 years of Stonewall Mia. When is that happening? In July? In June? So uh, please uh, come back, and that will also be an um, additional comment on this. So thank you for coming, and have a, a good day. Thank you.